first flight. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, we're not going to get it out. He's packed us in. Buckham Couriers. Fair dinkum. Fair fucking dinkum. He's only a little bloke. Go ahead, he'll move. He showed me this the other week. What, he's a man, she's a man, mate. They showed me that. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> Check that one out. Little, the guy's fucking huge. You need to get your eyes checked, mate. He's only five foot. Mate, you need to get your fucking eyes checked. You're soft. I'll go deal with him. Soft, you deal with him, mate. I'm going to lock the doors and call the fucking ambulance. Hey, that dwarf looks very similar to David in Dispatch. David? Hey, man, I better go up with jobs. All right. What are you looking at, Willie Nelson? You got a problem? I'm Amanda Doyle, the new regional manager of Swift and Shift. The courier business should be simple, really. You, the client, phones our call centre and tells us what's going where. The radio room should organise a competent driver to take your package from A to B on time. It seems so simple. So why does Keith Stedman always manage to stuff it up? Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Client from the last job's telling us that you're just standing out the front of the house. What's going on, mate? There's a dog in the front garden, bro. You know I don't go near dogs. When they move the dog, I'll take it in. <laughs> what are you, some sort of halal chicken? Get your ass in there, mate. Listen, you mutt. Don't make jokes about religion. You do it again, I'll swell smash up. Mate, if you're such a hero, why don't you deliver the package, you big pussy? It's just a dog, mate. I swear, I hate that dickhead. I hate it. What do you want? I want an appropriate chair that caters for someone like me. My feet don't touch the ground. They're not adjustable. Hey, special chairs are not in the budget. It's head office. Don't blame me. I want an appropriate chair. Excuse me, Keith. Um, the girls told me to tell you that Leanne's running late. I'm not fucking joking, Keith. Yeah, my workplace is unsafe and we need to shut it down. Just tell me a little bit more about the company there. Oh, hold on a second. Oh, well, boys, look who's late again. <laughs> when do I get the ball? OK, George, if I throw it to you and you drop it, then we get to tape you up and throw you in a box. Are you ready? Oh, well, boys, where's our biggest box? Yeah, there's heaps of safety violations here, mate. Especially the chairs. What's, uh, what's the name of the company? Swift and Shift. <laughs> Sounds dodgy already. Oh, big night with it. Leanne, you're late again. In my office now. Ooh, I hope that smell isn't her face. Swift and Shift couriers. You want to speak to who? Renzo. Hello, customer service. I've ordered another package of shoes, and I think that you should come and deliver them personally. You have to stop calling me. My wife works here. I'm in the bar. Renzo, who is it, bro? It's the shoe lady again. Has anyone ever told you anything you haven't already? You're looking for it. Renzo. Mm. What a strong name. Now, look, Leanne, I like you, but you've been late three times in three weeks, and every time you're late, Taryn has to cover for you, he starts to whinge, and it becomes my problem. You mean Oliver? The poofy one. Isn't his name Darren? No, it's Oliver. Keith, I've got an angry florist on the line for you. Not the bloody florist again. Put it through to Renzo. I smell of ancient panky here. There's no panky panky. There's no panky panky. I'm innocent. I haven't done anything, okay? Renzo and Dorian are discussing the shoe lady, and I'm not going to interrupt them, Keith. Okay, put the florist through to line three. And Leanne, don't be late again, okay? Hello, Swift and Shift, Operations Manager, Keith Warren speaking. Hello, it's Fernando here from Painters of Apatini. Listen, I send a big bunch of roses to a customer, a dozen, and when he gets the flower, there were only seven. What's going on? This is happening every time I'm booking with you. Let me see what you bloody got. This is all. Come on, you're getting them for free. Look at that. They're already dead. Who's going to buy this stuff? Look, you're my uncle, and I do respect you. 
But man, come on. You're taking too many. I mean, can't you take one or two? The customers are going to complain. Stop your bloody customer. Who cares about your customer? What about me? Huh? Now, I'm going to put a special on roses. That roses for sale. Tell about roses. Roses for sale. Hello, Mario. I'm the great two here. Hello. Uh, Keith wants you to come in. Yeah, what for? I'm not sure, bro. Uh, just come in. <laughs> That'll be the worst coffee I've ever tasted. Where's Anthony? Mm. Anthony! Live us, No worries. Um, Keith, I'm just wondering if you can have a word with Leanne about putting her shoes back on. They stink. Get back to work, Darren. Hey, Smurf, wake up. I told you not to use that fucking language to me, Luigi. Listen, somebody's parked me, and unless the wanker moves, I'm stuck. So that means my jobs aren't going anywhere. Understand? I bet you that. Coffee shop, chatting up that chick with a nice ass. Listen, you little testicle. I'm only telling you because I'm running late. I told you fucking not to use that language with me, mate. Yeah, yeah, dickhead, whatever. Oi! You parked me in. That's really, really inconsiderate. Hey, what's your problem? Hey, hey, hey. Come on, then do something. Stand up. They sit there doing nothing. Get up. And if you had enough, then don't give us up. Then it's time for you to just get up. Come on, then do something. Stand up. They sit there doing nothing. Get up. And if you had enough, then don't give us up. Then it's time for you to just get up. Can't talk right now, mate. I'm busy. Well, call me back as soon as you can. I think someone's got me in. What about the flowers to keep? Uh, Leonard, it's me. Ah, uh, man. Does Keith want to see me because of something to do with flowers? Just out of interest? I have no idea. Uh, you'll have to discuss it with him. Roses for sale. Beautiful dead roses for sale. Rosa Gopelis, Rosa Tornamach. Hey, twins, what's the problem with you two? Hey, David, mate. The shoe lady says she's not going to sign for the package unless Renzo brings it over personally. Where's my little Rambo Renzo? Yeah? I'll get back to you guys in a sec. Hey, Renzo, what's going on with you and the shoe lady? You giving it to her nicely or what? Oh, no. Has she called again? No, but she's ordering stuff and refusing to take deliveries unless you bring them personally. I took a complaint once and she said I have an elegant voice. I ordered some new shoes. Mm -hmm. Do you want to come and sniff them? I, I haven't done anything. Sarah. Right. Hey, Mark, listen. Tell her if she doesn't take the order, we'll have to keep it here at the depot. Are you reckon she's still wearing the towel? Hey, so you has that job going to Murderville? I'm having a big problem. I can't find the place. You're not using that Johnny's GPS, are you? I told you to get a street directory. Sorry, what did you say? You're very hard to understand. Can you believe that Asian black? You reckon I'm hard to understand? I didn't get a fucking word of that. What did you say, mate? Hey, hello, Sully. What's the problem, bro? Oh, yeah, the lift is broken and I have to walk up all these steps. Oh, I'm making a sweat. Oh, come on, Sully, relax. Why is the lift broken? Listen, when you're in the van, check your screen. I've got a job going to George Street. Why is the lift not working? No, you shit! No, you shit! No! Who? Where's the man? Where's the man? Are you him? Get up! Sort of flight. Oh, oh, oh! Sorry, don't What's that? What's that? Oh, good catch, bro. Oh, I just needed some air. There's a terrible smell of foot odour in my workspace. Hey, Oliver, give us a kick, bro. Oh, I'm not very good. Oh, there was choice, bro. Time is a waste of time. Time is a waste of time. And if you can't waste it, then you're done. Then you might just have the time of your life. But check it out, can't waste it all the time. But if you can't waste it, then you're done. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. oh, shit, bro. You all right? I'm from work. Where's your manager? Oh, he's upstairs, bro. What's that noise? Well, he did drop the ball, bro. Swift and shifts in a bit of shit here, boys. That dude's from work cover. You've got some serious work cover breaches going on out there, pal. You, you've got people playing ball games out there next to a running forklift. You've got workers out there that don't have any footwear on at all. They're an environmental hazard, Leanne. They stink. <laughs> you've got disabled people being abused. <laughs> and while I was inspecting the toilets, a 
I found this. Mm. Looks like a, a cigarette, you know, the, the roll your own kind. <laughs> George, did you take my joint? No. <laughs> Let's not play games, Mr. Warren. It's a joint. Okay? And even if it was a cigarette, smoking cigarettes in the toilet, which I might add, do not have smoke alarms, is totally against work cover regulations. We don't have alarms. All of you should be wearing these. Put them on now, please. Hey, pal, you're a 10 XL or what? The size of this wouldn't fit a midget. Sorry? What'd you, what'd you say? You're a 10 XL or what? This wouldn't fit him. What, what, what's wrong with him? Hey, how come we got to wear these in here? I look like a poof, mate. Mate, look, I, I know how it must look to you from where you're standing. But I can tell you this. I've been in the courier business for over 30 years. And this depot is completely safe. What's up with you, It's Jokey. He's got the best sucker out his fucking neck. Look at that. Oh, I think I've been caught in the vest. Get a scissors or something. Help me. He's back in his back. I've got a box cutter. Okay, bring those meat out of the way. Please, move me down the way. Stop moving, guys. Do you want me to cut you? What do you reckon's going on in there? Shut up, you're right. We're trying to work it out. Spit and ship couriers. Where's that mutt, Alex? He's not answering his radio. Is this a door? Yes, I've got. Tell that little shit, Alex. I was bitten by the dog. Okay, I'll tell him. Um, excuse me, everyone. Alex just cut his hand on a box cutter. Give my mum! Call my mum! Does anyone know where the first aid kit is? Um, he took it on his boat for when he goes fishing. Where's the first aid kit? I'm bleeding! I'm bleeding! Hey, someone tell Alex Abdul's coming to bash him. Okay, that's it. Everybody, stop work. This entire workplace is going to have to undergo mandatory drug testing. Ugh! Oh, those bits smell like dog's balls! With the band-aids! I told Keith this place was unsafe. Look at best stinks, mate! Hey, Alex, I don't mean to worry you, but Abdul said he's coming to bash you up. Do you guys know why Keith wants to see me? Well, no idea, bro. Pass a ball. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hi, Amanda. I'm afraid we've got real trouble. Work cover are here, and they're doing a full inspection. Oh, shit. How'd this happen? He said he got a complaint from one of our staff members. Oh, hang on. You hey. wanted to see me, Keith? It's not about the flowers, is it? Just wait in the dock. Sorry, Amanda. What do you want me to do? I'm coming over there. Try and keep him happy. Sorry, guys. Lunch over. Efficiency recommendations. I'll have to wait. What's going on? Oh, bloody Keith. He's stuffed up again. Why am I not surprised? I knew I should have sacked him. Um, would you like us to call you a cab? <laughs> With a smelly cab driver, I would rather bleach my anus. I'm all right. have arrived. Which one of these guys went out with your ex, bro? I can't tell, mate. Because they're twins. They look similar. I don't know which one to have the shits with. Look who's here. It's me, Mario. Dickhead. I'll just have the shits with them both. It just makes it easier. <laughs> What's going on with this woman? Look, Doreen, I've done nothing. She just won't leave me alone. Well, I simply adore shoes. Because I like the smell of them. And I like all the different personalities that I can be when I wear them. I find out that you've been cheating on me, I'll divorce you quick smart. Understand? What's this, bro? The shoe lady wouldn't take it unless Renzo delivered it personally. I don't know this shoe lady. OK, stop work, everybody. You're all required under work cover legislation to undergo a drug test. Anthony here will be passing out the sterile containers. Fancy making us take a drug test. Clarissa, hurry up. I'm trying, but if you won't talk, I can't concentrate. Who broke the other friggin' toilet anyway? That bloody idiot George broke it. Yeah, I'm trying. Oh, how come there's only one fucking toilet working? George, hurry the fuck up! Sitting in there like a fucking idiot, man. Are we meant to do a poo in this or what? 
piss in the car, George. <laughs> you really reckon that door's gonna bash me? Oh yeah, you know the marriage law, mate. They're gonna cut your nuts off. What did you just say? Did you fucking death? They're gonna cut his nuts out. You know they are, George. I don't think I can fit a poo in this. Ah! Bust up this. You do, my cousin. I'm gonna walk up. I think Dorian's going to leave me this time. What the fuck is going on with you and the shoe lady, Renzo? <laughs> CBD's mine. No, 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 no. I've got 31 for the 31, please. That's not the box for 31. This is a box, mate. Look at the job sheet. 31. Face is fucked up the ass, mate. They've stuffed you around. Get him on the radio. This is my job. think this is appropriate? Well, who's after his knock-off tonight? Oh, Anthony. Where's your sample? Hey! Hey! Where is that fucking mud, Alex? Hey, Abdul, Abdul, don't touch me, bro! See what happens when you don't eat real meat, bro? Or drink? Oh, sometimes the couriers get a bit unhappy with the jobs the dispatchers give them. It's part of the industry. Part of the industry. I need you to witness those samples. Oh. Hey, boys, go and help, will you, for God's sake? Oh, what about the sausages? Oh, fuck the sausages. Give me off this bit of shit, will you? Report. How bad is it? Bad. Hey, boss, I've got everyone's drug urine. Why aren't the lids on those samples? You want lids on them too? Put them over there on that table and go and get the lids. Give you more kiss away, get my I'm gonna hate this damn job. I hate it. I hate the people. I hate the traffic. And especially, I hate the clothes. Hey, bro. <laughs> Swear to God, chill out, will ya? This is the worst workplace I have ever visited. And as far as I'm concerned, you can all go home. Because from here on in, this place is officially fucking closed down. Good after fucking noon. <laughs> What's the number? Mmm. This is crude. Has anyone seen Renzo? I brought your shoes. Look, I, I think it's better if we don't see each other anymore. But we've been having so much fun over the last three weeks, haven't we? My little Rambo. Renzo? I just can't deal with being the object of someone's obsession. <sighs> Things have changed, changed, changed. I know life's changed, changed. This game over, game over. See you in one of these, it's nice to know ya. Game over, game over. Everything seems to fit me, but I've grown up. It's game over, game over. Really First plate? Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, we're not gonna 
getting out. He's such a sin. Fucking couriers. Fair dinkum. Fair fucking dinkum. He's only a little bloke. Go and hit him. He'll move. He showed me this the other week. What? He's a man. She's a man, mate. Don't show me that. Okay. <laughs> Check that one out. Little. The guy's fucking huge. You need to get your eyes checked, mate. He's only five foot. Mate, you need to get your fucking eyes checked. You're soft. I'll go deal with him. Soft, you deal with him, mate. I'm going to lock the doors and call the fucking ambulance. Hey, that dwarf looks very similar to David in Dispatch. David. Hey, man, I better go at my jobs. All right. What are you looking at, Willie Nelson? You got a problem? I'm Amanda Doyle, the new regional manager of Swift and Shift. The courier business should be simple, really. You, the client, phones our call centre and tells us what's going where. The radio room should organise a competent driver to take your package from A to B on time. It seems so simple. So why does Keith Stepper always manage to stuff it up? <laughs> Yeah, bro. Right. Client from the last job's telling us that you're just standing out the front of the house. What's going on, mate? There's a dog in the front garden, bro. You know I don't go near dogs. When they move the dog, I'll take it in. <laughs> what are you, some sort of halal chicken? Get your ass in there, mate. Listen, you mutt. Don't make jokes about religion. You do it again, I'll swell, smash up. Mate, if you're such a hero, why don't you deliver the package, you big pussy? It's just a dog, mate. I swear, I hate that dickhead. I hate it. What do you want? I want an appropriate chair that caters for someone like me. My feet don't touch the ground. They're not adjustable. Hey, special chairs are not in the budget. It's head office. Don't blame me. I want an appropriate chair. Excuse me, Keith. Um, the girls told me to tell you that Leanne's running late. Stop fucking joking, Keith! Yeah, my workplace is unsafe and we need to shut it down. Just tell me a little bit more about the company there. Oh, hold on a second. Oh, well, boys, look who's late again. <laughs> when do I get the ball? Okay, George, if I throw it to you and you drop it, then we get to tape you up and throw you in the box. Are you ready? <laughs> oh, well, boys, where's our biggest box? Yeah, there's heaps of safety violations here, mate. Especially the chairs. What's, uh, what's the name of the company? Swift and Shift. <laughs> Sounds dodgy already. Oh, big night, was it? Leanne, you're late again. In my office now. Ooh, I hope that smell isn't her feet. Swift and Shift couriers. You want to speak to who? Renzo. Hello, customer service. I've ordered another package of shoes, and I think that you should come and deliver them personally. You have to stop calling me. My wife works here. I'm in the bar. Renzo, who is it, bro? It's the shoe lady again. Has anyone ever told you that you have a very elegant voice? Renzo. Mm. What a strong name. Now, look, Leanne, I like you, but you've been late three times in three weeks, and every time you're late, Taron has to cover for you, he starts to whinge, and it becomes my problem. You mean Oliver? The puffy one. Isn't his name Darren? No, it's Oliver. Keith, I've got an angry florist on the line for you. Not the bloody florist, then. Put it through to Renzo. I smell of ancient pinky here. There's no ancient pinky. There's no ancient pinky. I'm innocent. I haven't done anything, okay? Renzo and Doreen are discussing the shoe lady, and I'm not going to interrupt them, Keith. Okay, put the florist through to line three. And Leanne, don't be late again, okay? Hello, Swift and Shift Operations Manager, Keith Warren speaking. Hello, it's Fernando here from Peters of Apartheid. Listen, I send a big bunch of roses to a customer, a dozen, and when he gets the flower, they were only seven. What's going on? This is happening every time I'm booking with you. Let me see what you bloody got. This is all. Come on, you're getting them for free. Look at that. They're already there. Who's going to buy this stuff? Look, you're my uncle, and I do respect you. 
But man, come on. You're taking too many. I mean, can't you take one or two? The customers are going to complain. Stuff your bloody customer. Who cares about your customer? What about me, huh? Now I'm going to put a special on roses. That the roses for sale. Tell about roses. Roses for sale. Hello, Mario. That's the base two here. Hello? Uh, Keith wants you to come in. Yeah, what for? I'm not sure, bro. Uh, just come in. <coughs> That'll be the worst coffee I've ever tasted. Where's Anthony? Mm. Anthony? Where was that? No one. Um, Keith, I'm just wondering if you can have a word with Leanne about putting her shoes back on. They stink. Get back to work, Darren. Hey, Smurf, wake up. I told you not to use that fucking language to me, Luigi. Listen, somebody's parked me in, and unless the wanker moves, I'm stuck. So that means my jobs aren't going anywhere. Understand? I bet you that. Coffee shop, chatting up that chick with a nice ass. Listen, you little testicle. I'm only telling you because I'm running late. I told you fucking not to use that language to me, mate. Yeah, yeah, dickhead, whatever.